I can literally tell a short form content agency how to charge 6,000 plus per month because I've done it. Yep. Like, and yes, I can say it for free. I do it. I go live on YouTube all the time. I fucking, I've shared numerous things on this podcast, but there is also like somebody needs to trust me and or want to aspire to be me to want to invest money in me. And yep. the aspirational is kind of like a term that like might help you as, like, as far as if you struggle with that, like, um, like what is aspirational about you? Like, why should people follow you? Like the internet, like, you know, is fake in a lot of ways. Like, you know, but like when I look at, like I look at somebody like a Brandon Carter or like a Hermosi or a Cardone or a Pineda and I'm like, you know, if I was a real estate, I'd want to be the guy. If I loved real estate, I'd be like, yo, I want to be the guy, you know, that has hundreds of properties and Ryan Pineda does. Yeah. You know, or like if I want to be, you know, if I want to own an apartment building, who better to follow than Cardone? Or like, you know, like, so it's like there's reasons. Everybody has these reasons yeah. to, to be followed. Like, <clears throat> if you want abs, the person I follow should have abs. Yeah. If I'm going to pay them to get me Simple abs. concept. You know, like, I, and again, back on like kind of what you were saying about short form editors. Like, if you're, that's the first thing I look at. Like, because I'm trying to hire editors all the time. Yeah. Like, if you're a good editor, show me a, one video on your account that's got a million views. It doesn't have to be of you. Just show me a video that's got a million views. Like now, now, like, or better yet, show me a video that you've edited of me that got a million views. Yeah. Without me paying you anything. Yeah. You know, like, so the, you know, same thing with like cold email. Like, show me a template you used that worked and let me use it. And I'll be like, fuck, this dude's got his shit right. Yeah. You know, like, oh, we, we did the same thing with our coaching program. Like, when we first started, it was like, hey, we'll show you how to get to like 30 to 50K a month because that's mm -hmm. as high as we had gotten. Then we mm -hmm. started changing the marketing language. Say, hey, we can help you get to. 100k a month because we had actually gotten there. Yeah. Now, I mean, we just don't talk about numbers at all because I don't, I don't it, think it's, it's, it's tough, to man. It, it, it's really hard, and and especially you guys are younger. Like, yeah. I mean, it, the younger you are, the more you have to prove. Like, and that's one thing that we do a lot. Like, same thing with editing. Like, if if you make a bold and audacious claim, like, show a screenshot. It has to be provable. Yep. Yeah. Like, and that's what like you know, you know. I I mean, yes, you can doctor screenshots, but like, at least put something there. Like, you know. And that's what we tell the clients, like, what is factually provable that I can show in your videos? Yeah. Because that's the number one reason people don't follow or they don't buy. Yeah. Is they don't trust you. You know, like, so it's like when you're making content that converts, it's like the only thing that's going to make it convert is trust. You know, because there's a lot of 19-year-old kids that do YouTube automation that make millions. Yeah. I don't trust any of them. <laughs> you know, like. So, like, shit like that. It's, like, there's a lot of short-form editing agencies. You know? Yeah. It would be hard for somebody to compete with my results. Yeah. You know? I feel like if you have the results, you should be shameless in it. Yeah. And that's one thing, like, stats and numbers, like, that, that's a flex. Like, I, I, was, I was coaching with a guy. He, like, he helps autistic children. Like, and, I mean, if you really break it down, if he doesn't flex his results, he's doing a disservice to... Yeah, to the world. Yeah, yeah. To he's the not next help, person he can help. He's not helping autistic children, and who doesn't want to help autistic children? Yeah. Like, it's I like, want to yeah. I want to help them, and I don't know anything about them. Yeah. You know, like, so it's, and uh, he's like, how do I flex? Like, you know, and, and it, he, it's specifically fitness to autistic children. And I was like, I said, how many people have you helped? And he's like, thousands. I said, there's your flex. Who else has that? Yeah. Like, you know, so it's like, and then in Brandon's case, like, he shows up to a filming session with $14,000 worth of brand new Louis Vuitton and Gucci <laughs> because he wants to get more views. That, I, and he's like, I kept the receipt. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, so it's like, that's real. You know, how do you, like, is that flexing or is that just facts? And people just, you know, but he also shared, he's like, I just have, a, he said, I'm very different with as far as like, I just really don't care what people think. And I, I think that that muscle, again, it's trainable. Yeah. But yeah. you also have to know, like, the more you flex and show shit, like, there are repercussions to it. Yeah. Like, people ask you for money. And then my, like, uh, literally, I'm dealing with it right now. I had, like, on the way here, I had, com like, two comments that people were like, I can't believe you had a, I, like, I didn't set that shit up. Like, <laughs> yeah. I told Ari that this is what's going to happen. <laughs> like, I love her, you know, yeah. but, like, and it's also, too, in, you know, other situations, it's just, you know, people are going to lash out at you. And you can't stop that. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed this short clip, check out the full interview here. And if you want to see more clips from this episode, check it out right here.